Good morning. Tomorrow is May 1st. At present, the stay-at-home order is in effect until May 26. Brothers and sisters, I've encouraged you over the last 40 days or so uh, to see the blessings of this quarantine time. When we come to the other side, we don't want to just say, whew, finally made, got, got through that. No, God wants so much more for us. When we come out on the other side of this, we want to be stronger, uh, have more of God's blessings, and God does want us to give his blessings. That's his desire for you. He wants to provide blessings for your faith and life through this time. But how is that going to happen? That's only going to happen through the word of God. Consider what God says in Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy. It gives wisdom to the inexperienced. The precepts of the Lord are right. They give joy to the heart. The commandments of the Lord is bright. It gives light to the eyes. The words law, testimony, precepts, and commandments are all words for the word of God. Did you see what they do? They revive the soul. They give wisdom. They give joy. They give light. Don't our souls need to be revived at times? Don't we need wisdom? Don't we need joy? Don't we need light? Yes, we do. Brothers and sisters, for the past 40 days, since the stay-at-home order has gone into effect, I have encouraged you to gather around your family altar. Let's be honest. For far too long, our family altars have been neglected. They've been abandoned. They've been in disrepair because of all the pressures and all the responsibilities and all the desires of life. But this quarantine has provided an opportunity for us to repair, to rebuild, to regather around our family altar. Have you done that? I hope so. We still have one more month of this quarantine. As your shepherd, I want to encourage you to continue to build up your family altar and to gather around the word of God. Tomorrow, we are beginning a 26-day journey through the book of Acts. The theme is witnesses. God calls us to be his witnesses through the trials of life. For a month, I've, I've been using God's word to encourage our souls, to encourage our hearts and in our lives during this difficult time. But now we need to move beyond that. We need to uh, see that God does have a purpose for our lives. Attach to today's email, you will find the devotions for May 1st to the 9th. Each devotion will begin with a brief introduction. Then you'll read through the assigned portion of the book of Acts. After that, you'll look at two discussion or thought questions. And then there'll be a prayer. I encourage you to read through these lessons from the book of Acts, to gather around your family altar, and, and to talk about these, to discuss these thought questions. If you're alone, I would encourage you uh, to maybe find a friend and be a devotion partner where you can talk about these at, after you both uh, read the, the section. I've sent out hard copies to all those who don't have um, email. Maybe you want a hard copy um, and you can't print down, uh, uh, print out what I have for you. Uh, so you can call me or write me and let me know. I'll send, I'll email you uh, the copy or you could stop by church at the, uh, the table at the front entrance. There will be copies of our devotions. I also need to speak to you about the length of these devotions. We live in a world that we want things short and we want things in small doses because we want to move on to many things in life. Is that how we should really think about God's word? Let's just have a little small dose and then move on with our day. No, my dear brothers and sisters, God's word is too important for us. Yes, there are times that we can just grab a, a little spiritual snack, as it were. But we need to sit down and have the spiritual feast, the healthy meal of God's word. So make a commitment to spend time every day. As you read God's word, the Holy Spirit will use his word to revive your soul, to make you wise, to give you light, and to give you joy to your hearts 
and minds and souls. Forty-four years ago, I stood before the Lord's altar and I made my confirmation promises. At that time, I chose for my confirmation verse, Psalm 119, verse 105. Your words are a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's word is our light. We need his word to shine the light of his grace on our hearts and on this sin-darkened world. So join me this month in our journey through the book of Acts as we discover, rediscover our purpose as God's witnesses. Along with this verse, my this Bible verse from Psalm 119, my confirmation hymn was, Oh, that the Lord would guide my ways. Brothers and sisters, let Psalm 119, 105, your word is a lamp to my feet, be our theme and our thought and our motivation. And let the words of this song be our prayer. That through this journey, we walk together in the book of Acts, each around our family altar. I pray that you have enjoyed uh, this moment together this morning, and I wish you all of God's Easter blessings as we journey through the book of Acts beginning tomorrow morning. God's blessings. Have a great day.